big studies came out in 1994 that really kind of shocked me. It said that after a year of strength training, an older adult gains two pounds of muscle, and the ones who don't lose one. So they lose a pound of muscle every single year. And in three months of strength training, people double the amount of weight they can push. So if they were able to push 40 pounds in the beginning, they're able to push 85 in three months. So really, we're all wired like hunter-gatherers, and we have to be able to adapt to our environment. But after 40 years of doing very, very little, and all the great things in the 20th century, had a motor, or plugged into the wall, we're really pretty disabled. So my patients are that way. So I started reading about strength training programs and wanted to make one, but I realized that um, uh, there's a cost involved and people at older adults are on fixed incomes. But I realized that strength training is really unique because does anybody do it here? I know Dean does. You rest for 30 or 60 seconds. So in a group, uh, older adults, they talk to each other and they make friends. So it's this rare event when you have a wellness program that after a month of coming, people want to show up. They make friends. It becomes their social life. So we've been doing this in Hershey now. And a grant came out from Medicare, who is uh, desperately worried about rising health care costs for interventions in the level of communities that can reduce total federal health care costs through Medicare and Medicaid. So Medicaid pays for a lot of nursing home costs. So we've been, uh, so I'm preparing to submit a grant with the support, hopefully, uh, of the county and the commissioners uh, um, to do this in Lebanon. And this would, be a, this would be a demonstration project where we'd make a free strength training program available and engage 4,000 seniors in one county. And what's novel about it is that that's never been done before. That would be the largest community-based program ever attempted. Uh, and so we've been working closely with uh, folks at the Area Agency on Aging and others. Um, but I think this would be a good chance to improve health. And uh, the return on investment to Medicare would be pretty big because we've removed the biggest three, the, we have removed the two biggest costs. We use peer, trained peer volunteers in donated spaces. So this is mainly a project in churches, in senior centers, and in senior housing units. There's 25 in Lebanon County. We have the support of uh, 14 of them so far in letters. Um, so it'll be a free program for older adults. Uh, something that they probably want to do because they'll think it's fun and probably have a benefit. <laughs> Strong Women, unfortunately, has a cost associated with it. And so, we, um, so it, it has about a hundred, between a hundred to two hundred dollars depending on the center. Um, and we've, we've really removed that cost by using trained peer volunteers, <coughs> people from the communities, from the churches. Uh, um, and, and then train them. So we have Covenant United Methodist, Pastor Albert's doing this now. Uh, we have several uh, churches in uh, Dauphin County as well doing this. Um, so usually within each community, there are people who really care about exercise. And they want to donate an hour, they're willing to donate an hour of their week. Please. Uh, doctor, I think there's one piece missing. You also, through this grant, supply the bands? Well, we, we supply everything. This is no cost to the county at all. So uh, we are paying, we're uh, paying to train the peer leaders, to help recruit the peer leaders. We're paying for the bands. I brought one example here. So we will, we'll, write a, we'll write a check for $70,000 worth of these. It's a massive box. So it's essentially a free program. Uh, and, Medi and the goal of this is if it really works, this would be a covered benefit under Medicare. So people over 65, or pe anybody covered in Medicare, would be able to go to this for free. It would be part of their benefit package that doesn't exist today. Did you say this is a Medicare plan? Yes. This is this. No, so yeah, CMS, or Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services. Oh, I wonder what that yeah. meant. Absolutely. Yeah, no. Sorry about that. Center for Medicare what? Medicare and Medicaid Services. They're under one umbrella. So that's called the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services. Yes, CMS. Why did you choose Lebanon? Um, mainly because that um, What's never been done before is trying to intervene on a high percentage. Look, to improve the health of the community, you've got to get everybody involved somehow. That is a high percentage of the people. So to start in a huge county would require this much money. 
And as a demonstration project, we thought, well, if we pick a smaller county, that at least won't cost them uh, quite as much money to see if this works. If it works, we would use the model of area agencies on aging, which exist in, I think, every, almost every state in America, and there's 50 of them, I think, in, um, in Pennsylvania. And they already provide services, and they get reimbursed through federal and state service uh, organizations in some way for them. So this is really a model of what could then be disseminated to other places. Trainers are trained by us, sorry. So we hire college grads and we teach them to how to train people. I've been doing it so far myself and working with my staff to do it. We have a three hour training program. We teach them CPR as we make sure and we do spot checks. So we'll go and see the programs in, you know, when they're going on, so we quality control. The trainers are trained for three hours. And then what they do is the trainers get together from one church and they work out a few times together so that they can kind of get on the same page with how it works. Now, it's not, not all churches, but churches, uh, senior housing units, and, and, and uh, senior centers. So, but, but long term, it's, a, it's a, about an hour per week we're expecting of them. But of course, they can work out while they're there. Right. <coughs> I, I have not partially, this is how I'm getting to know. Uh, uh, what exists in the, in the community. I think Dean actually suggested uh, We have a very similar process to ensure the safety to the participants. So we have a questionnaire. Anybody over the age of 70 or who says yes to one of six standard questions needs to have their doctor sign off. We have all those forms. And my plan in this is once we get the centers up is to visit every single primary care doctor in this county personally to tell them about it and to give them little prescription pads that they can give to people, ask, encouraging them to do it with all the addresses of all the places, and then the sign off in advance. So yeah, there is that's for their safety. Not everybody should start strength training today. For some people, it's not safe. It assumes that a lot of them do. Yeah. Uh, most people in this will have either hypertension or diabetes or heart disease or arthritis. At least 60 to 70 percent of the people will have one of those, and it's to help mitigate the damage from I would like to make a motion that the county provide a letter of support for this grant. And under discussion, if I may, one or two more questions. Sure. Uh, yes, we have a motion on the floor, and Commissioner Litz has some questions. Okay. It's my understanding that this grant would be awarded in April 2014. Mm -hmm. And then how long after that would the program actually start? Oh, Medicare or CMS requires that every participant has to be enrolled within 12 months. It, it would be a massive undertaking to do it. The nice part is that it wouldn't be a three-year project. Once these things are going, they just keep going. May I sign up first? <laughs> As a peer leader? Oh, well, I don't know. We'll see. Right. Absolutely. She doesn't have time. I'm not sure you're old enough, but we'll hold on. Sorry. All right. So we, we have a motion to uh, give a letter of support from the the Office of the County Commissioners uh, in favor of the uh, Mr. Latimer, you have a question. Yes, please. Um, I didn't hear a dollar amount that you're applying for. It would be in the range of $3 million for the proposal. Mm -hmm. um, I expect that there would be costs uh, going forward with this. How would they be covered? Yes, yeah, so, so this is a demonstration project. At the end of it, what what's Medicare wants is a plan for how they would pay for this. <coughs> Medicare would pay for it. Okay. So we're going to give them a per session cost. We'll say 75 cents every time the person walks in the door. We'll bill you for that. So they need a model for how payment would work. <coughs> and what's the duration of this demonstration? Three years. All those in favor of uh, the county commissioners giving a letter of support to the doctor for this uh, pilot program indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? So moved. Oh wow, that's the fastest letter of support I've ever gotten. <laughs>